Aha! A very good evening to you and a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Show, show number 72. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Welcome, 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 I say, to one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations, of course. Sunday night, nothing gets past me, usual rules apply. There are no rules except good language, politeness, and your comments are very welcome. I shall, of course, read them out. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. And we've got uh, Rab Hill watching D. Gooley says, Good evening, Scotty. A very good evening to you, D. Brian Keswick, Harry Marshall, Gordon Cridden. Uh, how are you? He says, Kepchi lol. So there you go. And uh, hello, Scotty, says Harry Marshall Sr. Hello, Harry Marshall Sr. I hope you've had a good week and that you are well and ready to do business on the Scotty McClure Show. Last week's show, again, incredibly successful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Dinky you do, Scotty, says Alfred James Wright. Good evening, Mr. McClure, my fine fellow says Douglas McPherson. Good evening, Douglas. I hope you are well. Can I have lots of thumbs up and hearts and all that sort of thing, please? Good evening, Scotty, says Raymond Benson. Top jumper, Scotty, says Peter Garvin. Do you like it, Peter? There we are, nice and warm for the winter, of course. Keeps us toasty, toasty. And uh, good evening, Scotty, says Ben Lucas. Scott and Roddick's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. A very fine fellow. One of our leading broadcasters. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Lovely to have you all with us. Good evening, Scotty and Dinky Doo. All the way from Turnhout in Belgium. So there you are, Belgium. Marvellous stuff. Do tell me if you are abroad, if you've come a great distance. If you're in India, Africa, Canada, America, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan. Always good to hear from you. VJ's there. Mark McEachern. Were you on the whiskey last night, Scotty? Says Liam Smith. Mary T. Warner is watching. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty. It's Big Paul. Free Paisley here. Good, Paul. Always say where you're from. Fantastic. Good evening, Scotty. You're looking well, says Jackie McCauley Brody. Jackie McCauley Brody, lovely to have you with us. No wonder I'm looking well. The wonderful success of the Scotty McClue Show. Thousands upon thousands. And it's a Facebook video. How amazing is that? And we actually have more people watching this program than listening to many a radio station or even watching the old television program. This is the new television, so you can pop off your radios and your TVs and watch Scotty McClue. On behalf of the Lord's Day Preservation Society, can I ask that you stop broadcasting on the Sabbath, says Gordon Sterling. We are preserving the Lord's Day by broadcasting on the Sabbath. There you are, Gordon. Excellent. You hadn't thought about that, had you? So we're very much in favour of your Lord's Day Preservation Society. Uh, Eddie Doby Sr., man, fantastic. A true radio. That's a fancy toggle, says Gordon. Couldn't I? You'll not get many toggles like that in the broch, Gordon. So there you are. That's one you'd hate to wait to your neighbour Dean to look for. Mind you, I don't know. There's quite a bit of the fisherman's jumper about it. So there we are. Wrap me up in my oilskin and jumper. Um, Paul Goodyear, Adrienne Murphy, James Sinclair, Mitchell Gilroy. Oh, Scotty, you should do the celeb Big Brother, says Rab Hill. Yes, wonderful stuff. I did actually get nearly to the final of Big Brother, but uh, I'd watched the television and the lady said she wasn't too sure about my knowledge of that. I maybe had too much knowledge. Good evening. So, Scotty, says Neil Gormley. Hi, Scotty, watching with my friends. Can you say hello and dinky do to Marshall McKeever and Kirsty Allen? Says VJ, of course I can, Marshall McKeever and Kirsty Allen. A very warm welcome via VJ. Try saying that. There you go. Uh, Paul Kyle is there. Hi, Scotty, I remember your radio show many years ago. Very funny. Your wit was great. Paul Free Fife. Hopefully it's still intact. So there we are. We are still wit intacto. So there you are, wit. 
sharing your live link, Scotty, with True Radio from Scotland's second best broadcaster. Keep dinky doing, Henry Newton. Henry, you might just have the edge on me. Who knows? So they are. But I do hold the title of the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. But we know you are a very fine broadcaster. Uh, you're looking uh, well, Scotty says. Uh, you're looking like the Cooper of Fife, says <laughs> Gordon Clinton. Love the photo of the wall, Scotty. What was the award? Uh, that's a, a, a university degree. A university degree. Edward Strang still dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us from uh, America. Edward's in America. Ed, hi. Uh, Scotty, can you give me a mention, uh, and a mention to my fiance Leslie Simpson, says Paul Gordon. Leslie Simpson, lovely to have you with us. Of course, you are the luckiest lady in the world, and Paul Gordon, the luckiest man in the world, but he will know that. So there you are. Uh, so the couch gang start the auction. So now we're not wanting this, so what we'll have to do um, is uh, start blocking people. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, my man, uh, from uh, Jav, Jav Salim, lovely to have you with us, Jav. Martin Monaghan, uh, is your thoughts on single mothers still the same, says Reb Hill. Well, obviously, I am a great man of the future, so I move with the times, Rab. You know, you'll always get a bit of that. I, I move with the times, never a problem. And uh, Ron Stewart's watching, dinky do Ron. Light and shared, says Diane Demack. Everyone, Diane Demack. Lovely, lovely. Um, Alan Humphreys and Robert Abbott Trumby have just joined us. <coughs> Pardon me. Warm welcome to you guys. Uh, Jackie McCauley Brody says, My late father loved listening to you on the radio many years ago. You ain't changed any. You'd probably do a better job. So there you are. And uh, she'd like to see me as First Minister. Oh, well, very nice. Uh, dinky do, says Ron. Yes, dinky do to you, Ron. Nothing gets past me. Jennifer Cropper Zaram and Brian Doherty. Excellent to have you with us as well. So there we go. Right, Scotty boy, dinky do, liked and shared, says Robert Abercrombie. Excellent, Robert. Amazing stuff. Now, Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcasting platform, and we are live right now. How amazing is that? We have to finish at uh, ten o'clock sharp. So there you go. Aaron Stewart's watching. Says Ron, dinky do, Aaron. Lovely to have you with us. Not again. So there you are. Go elsewhere. Says Harry Marshall Senior. I'm not sure if it's just a false alarm, just a comment, Harry. Uh, Scotty, it'd be great if you could do something on Facebook like your old radio show. That would be an internet sensation, says Paul Carter. Well, Paul, we can. We're working on it. I may even take a call on Messenger tonight. So there you go. So if you're on Messenger, we could try that. We could look at that and maybe even take a call. A song for Bucky Thistle tonight, please, Scotty says the wonderful Douglas Lawrence, one of our finest traditional musicians, one of our finest classical musicians, actually, as well, as well, and uh, as well as is. And a Bucky man, of course, that's free, the tune of Bucky. Uh, Kelty Woods, bra the night, Scotty, let the wind blow down your kilt, says Brian Ireland. John Watt, dinky do, can you say hello to Maggie, my lovely wife, Scotty? says Steve Burrows. Of course I can, Steve. Hello, Maggie Burrows, one of the luckiest ladies in the world. And of course, we know Steve Burrows is one of the luckiest men. He knows that as well. Doesn't need me to tell him. Hello from Dublin, Scotty, says Gordon Ritchie, who's over in Dublin. How marvellous, how marvellous is that? Uh, Gordon Drysdale, uh, it was just me making a flippant comment, Scotty, now to worry about, says Stephen Wilmoth. No, no, Stephen. Uh, always said you had a face for radio back in the day, Scotty, but you're looking lovely anyway, says Rab. Absolutely, I'm sure you are as well, Rab. Uh, how was your haggis, Scotty, says Harry Marshall Sr. Well, I posted quite a bit of haggis material, uh, some of it from uh, from last year, of course, some of it from even further back. But I thought you'd like to see Scotty McClue, or hear Scotty McClue broadcasting to Montserrat. So there you are, Montserrat, 
What's your favourite Burns poem, Scotty? <coughs> oh, you've got me there. I think to a moose. Because it's one, I think a lot of Burns poetry is actually um, encoded politically. So there you are. Look at the time he was around. What was happening in the late 1700s? A time of revolution and world leaders and uh, the, the, the aristocracy throughout Europe were very, very concerned about the revolutionary times. And if you look at Tuamus, you know, does it talk about people of other nations being turned up and turned out and running away through the murder and prattle? Ken. And uh, Oscar, our dogs, has got a Drysdale. Hey, man, I'm here now. Where you been, says Carl Carliston? Lee Scotty. Can you say hello to my wife, Yvonne? Uh, have you ever been to Stranra? That was Gordon Drysdale there. Yvonne Drysdale, dinky do from Gordon. I, of course, I have been to Stranra. Fantastic. I used to work for Border Television in Carlisle, and I would very often uh, take the route up the scenic road, especially if it was uh, summary or something. The A75, am I correct? So there you are. Evening boss, think you do, says Murray Ramage. Why are you all wrapped up when you're in the house, Scotty? Well, for all you know, it might be an outside broadcast. This could just be a piece of plasterboard behind. A set, it could be set dressing. Jerry Burns watching, think you do. Thomas Draghorn, come on, on you come. Ian Johnson, uh, excellent to have you with us. And uh, Oscar the dog is Oscar Drysdale. So there you are, Oscar Drysdale. Now, Look at the time. Yes. Time for a share. Can every single one of you share, 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 share. Jerry Byrne, Bruce Milne, John Watt. Yes, you are. Scotty, how do I deal with idiots? Says Peter Lockwood. Oh, Peter, you're talking to the expert. You're preaching to the converted. If anybody knows how to deal with idiots, Scotty McLeod does. Now, what I'm going to have to do, I'm just going to share this right now. Did you see the promotional material today? Have you got all of that? Excellent stuff. And uh, so you'll be fine for a bit of a sharing. Um, I've got my jumper on tonight, my fisherman's jumper. And that is for everybody watching through the broch. So excellent. Because I know we're very popular in the broch. And of course, in Peter Heed too. Let's not kid ourselves. Right, uh, share time. Uh, is everybody watching this? I'm sharing right now. You should be doing the same. All right, so I've shared with public. Every single one of you should be sharing on Facebook Live right now. So there you go. And uh, we're looking at even other platforms as well. I don't want to uh, um, be talking too much on the big one, of course, because that'd be regarded as sacrilege. Hello, Diane, says Jan Salim. Ask John Watt if he supports Stran Ra, says VG. Craig Nickel. Good evening, Scotty. Who's the gentleman behind you? Well, thank you for the title. The gentleman is actually my good self, believe it or not. So there you are. That is the McClue in the very flesh for you. I'm just doing a wee bit of sharing. I'll put uh, live now. All right. So live now. Is that all right? Scotty McClue live now. Excellent stuff. And that's gone off to the other big Scotty McClue page. There are several Scotty McClue pages. So never get yourself mixed up. I'll also get on to the Scotty McClue fans group. We've got, I think it's um, approaching 4,000 of you. <coughs> Pardon me. I'd had a touch of the loggy way back, as you know. And uh, what we've got here, I'll just put up there, Scotty. Yes, and that comes up lovely. The Scotty McClue group for fans, discussion and debate. So there you are. Nothing gets past me. And I shall put up here again live now. Excellent. So there we go. And there's one more to come, so we'll keep sharing. Come on, every single one of you share and share. Have you ever fished in the tea, Scotty? I'm not a fisherman, but I know the tea very well. Sandy Howden. Sorry I'm late, Scotty. I've been out measuring the width of cycle lanes. Are you thinking in getting yourself a, a, a bike, Sandy? And, uh, you know, getting, making sure that you don't 
get a wee bit beefy uh, as, as you get older. You're still a very young man, of course, Sandy, so that would not be a problem. I'm just going to keep sharing, guys, because this is fantastic. So many of you. Scotty McClure's class, says William Anderson. Here, big man, do you still like caravanners, says Nick Baldy. I was thinking in banning caravans from the road, uh, particularly during the summer months. <clears throat> I think it's very, very important to look at that. Right, here we go. Uh, so I'm just going to keep sharing, guys. Um, excellent stuff. Uh, Facebook Live. There we are, ministry. And I shall just put up live now. There we are. That will keep the crowds and the hordes coming and joining us. Uh, I'm missing you here. Get back on air. What's tonight? Topics, says Stephen Wearmouth. As you know, Stephen, we don't always do topics at the moment. You can decide what you want to talk about, and the rest of us decide if we're going to pick up on that. That's what I think is rather fantastic. Excellent stuff. Right, there we are. All right, Scotty, I'm offshore just now. My Wi-Fi keeps freezing. I'll have to call it a day and catch up again when I'm back on the beach in a couple of weeks. Cheers for now, says Peter Martin. Well, you should be able to get us offshore as well, Peter, because people are watching throughout the world. Scotty, share with the Scottish Independent. I don't know, is that a group? Am I a member of the Scottish Independent? I'll have a look. The more I look at the whole thing, right? And as you know, I'm no Scott Nat or any of that. The more I realise Scotland should be independent. It should be in charge of its own economy. Very, very important. It should be booming. I was hearing today that in Stirling, in central Scotland, they're talking about cutbacks for the Smith Museum, for the uh, the big project, for the Raploch, things like that. There should be no cutting back. Um, all these budgets should be increased annually. So there you are. Uh, Scotland Independent, I'm just going to have a look for you and see if we've got that one. Uh, Scotland, I-N-D. The only thing is sometimes Scotland for Independence, there you are. Um, so Scotland for Independence, is, is that the one? Um, sometimes what I find is that groups are a bit slow off the mark and they think, oh, what's he doing on spouting here? rather than realising it's very much helping them. John Wilson's watching Dinky Do Impact Live. Harry Marshall Sr. well said. Yes, I'll put live now. So there we are. So Scotland should be booming, absolute boom time. We've had oil for the last 60 years. You know, we should be massively, massively wealthy. Scotty, you should be an MP, says Nick Baldy. Would you vote for me, Nick, if I became an MP? Do you think Boris... We'll get rid of me this week. So there you are. No, I think Mrs. May will stay and take the hit for the whole Brexit thing. And then the other ones will slide in and see if they can get in the big chair. So there we are. Uh, 22,000 on there. I wonder if I've got, check if I've got the right group, Harry. I've just shared. Scotty, did you miss my question or did you skip it? Charles McLaughlin, I never skip a question if it's a good one. I probably missed it. I call caravans the scourge of the highlands. So there you are. Abbreviated to scourges, says Douglas McPherson. So there we are. I'm going back. What about a shout out from Glasgow, says William Armstrong. Absolutely. And uh, I got caught behind a cyclist in a caravan coming out of pool says uh, Sandy Howden. I don't know if he means he plays pool or if he means pool in Dorset. So they are. Jim Wilson is watching Dinky to Jim. Excellent stuff. What question did I ask? Um, so let's see if I've missed something. Um, a special license is needed to tow a caravan now, says Eddie Doby Sr. Is this correct? I'm not up on caravan licensing. <laughs> Do you think Boris... Oh, we've done that one, haven't we? So there we are. Hey, stick with me, stick with me, stick with me. Um, what have I got here? Glad you've said to confirm to many, Scotty. I know you've said it to myself, says Ian Johnson. I have, Ian, absolutely. Scotty, did you miss my question? Charles, 
you need to put your question up again. I haven't skipped it. I don't know where it is. Um, I bought the wife an electric blanket last week. She's good. She'll plug it in, says Steve Burrows. So there we are. Friends of mine, uh, they're, they've been married a long time, but they had to give up their waterbed because they felt they were drifting apart. Uh, Scotland has not had oil, Scotty. It's off the coast of Scotland, yes. And Scotland owned these coasts. That was the Maritime Borders, Sandy. The Maritime Borders. And they've just shifted them. It's Westminster. Sandy, you're an intelligent man. It absolutely floors me to think that any intelligent Scot cannot see the wisdom of Scotland being run by the Scottish people. All right. Very strange. Anyway, there we go. Evening, Scotty. What's your opinion on Nicola Sturgeon trying to get rid of the Union Jack? This, Charles, was apparently fake news. And uh, she wasn't trying to get rid of the Union Jack. But if you look at the Union Jack, it may be time to replace it. Because after Brexit, if we leave the EU, there's every chance Scotland will leave the British Union right you've got the irish flag the flag of saint patrick in the union flag and um, as far as i know ireland is not part of the union although northern ireland still is <clears throat> for how long we don't know right so you've got that there um but uh, the union flag it may be time for a bit of an overhaul. Remember, there's no such country as Britain. Britain is an amalgam of Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Wales is not represented in the Union flag. So again, it's dated from that point of view. All right. Bring law and order back, says Peter Lockwood. Uh, the Taxi Owners Association of East Coast Bride. Taxes, Lindsay and James. James Barrow there. Dinky doo from East Coast Bride. Lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. We're broadcasting live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. I am the world's top broadcaster and the first lot of the internet. We have sharings on here. So share, 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 share. Do you think Scotty McClure would make a good MP? There you are. You can tell me about that. A shout out for the late Tam Little. Uh, I loved the show back in the days. He loved the show back in the days. Says Derek Delboy Little. I take it that was your late father, Derek Delboy. Fantastic stuff. My father was a man of few words. And he used to say to me, son, Uh, what about single mothers, says Darren Clover? Well, obviously, it's better for single mothers if they are partnered. And I, as I used to say, you shouldn't really have a child if you don't have the father there as well. We shouldn't really be making that decision on behalf of a child. You should have mother and father, band of gold on the fingers, of course, and away you go, sorted. So there you go. Uh, Bob Carroll's watching, Dinky Do, and uh, Stuart Buck and Stuart Buck and Carol McNamara is watching. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Harry Marshall Senior says hi. Of course, very important as well. Shared on the Scottish Independent, twenty-two thousand one hundred and twenty-five followers. Let's talk about what is best for Scotland, says Harry Marshall Senior. Yes, of course, but let's not lose sight of the fact that we are entirely an international program on an international platform, Harry. There's no reason why we shouldn't have anything up to two billion watching Scotty McClue right now. Um, hello, legend, says James Stewart. Hello, James Stewart. Dinky doo to you. Lovely to have you with us. And fantastic audiences for the program, guys. Thank you so much. Very, very, very much appreciated. If any of you are feeling flush, and you can spare a few pounds, even two or three pounds, 
then uh, do go to gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue and pop something in or go to paypal.me forward slash scotty mcclue or one word s-c-o-t-t-i-e-m-c-c-l-u-e paypal.me forward slash uh, scotty mcclue paul logan's watching did you do is the union flag not the jack says douglas lawns no douglas the union flag is the union flag it's only the jack as you probably well know when it's flying from the jack staff of one of her majesty's ships in the royal navy that's when it's the union jack if it's in the corner of the red flag of the merchant navy then it's the red duster the red ensign if it's in the corner of a white flag with a red crisscross then it's uh, the white ensign flying astern flying abaft of one of her majesty's ships of the royal navy robert mckay dinky do and he's popped up a union flag for us but yes the union flag should probably have an overhaul and are you still happy singing the national anthem remember we don't have the verse about marshall wade and rebellious scots to crush we don't sing that handel who's a german gentleman of course composed the national anthem as far as i know but perhaps we've got uh, people like douglas lawns watching douglas lawns am i right is the national anthem da 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 dee 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 is that a handel composition so there you are don't need a caravan license if you passed your test over the past 10 years but under that and new driving um you drivers do need to take a trailer towing test to be added to your license same as driving a 7.5 ton <coughs> impact live thank you very very much for that information i see there's more but i'm a little loath to uh, with my huge fingers to touch see more as we lost the whole broadcast from that uh, only a jack when it's on a boat says douglas yes douglas only a jack when it's on a boat <coughs> scotty do you always join groups that you've heard of that you've not heard of on a whim says sandy howden sandy howden as you very well know i do nothing on a whim everything is done by proper sensible common sense decision with my iq of 164 so there you are and uh, you have to pass the trailer test now to do anything says eddie doby senior um so that's that and uh, what else have we got gary crossan's watching dinky do rod hardest is watching one of our finest broadcasters classics we love uh, is it classics we love rod or classics you love do tell me and uh, one of the finest wizards of the big switchboard scotty mcclue has ever had my first wizard of the big switchboard in 1992 26 years ago in june uh, thank you scotty this is derek dell by little not at all derek lovely to hear from you and um requiem scat your lovely father rest in peace i say james stewart leave our flag alone so james stewart what do you mean are you talking about the salt hire or are you talking about the union flag uh james stewart do feel free to tell uh you probably would make a good mp scotty says carol mcnamara the only thing carol mcnamara i am very very strong on telling 100 percent factual truth and uh, sometimes they say that there can be casualties of the truth um in our houses of parliament we don't want that surely not scotty is the ma he says how it is oh scotty is the man he says it how it is says nick baldy sorry nick you've obviously used that predictive text Nigel Wally is there, Bell Hesketh and Mark Gippert, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live the new Dinky Doo. Uh, time for some more sharing. I can see that. There we go. Yes, share, 
share 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 we're late with the sharing tonight guys time absolutely flies when you're enjoying yourself i can promise you nothing surer than a scotty McClue show will go in a flash in a whisker so there you are and uh, i shall share again now share excellent stuff so there we are you've got another share this has been shared to the timeline and share again fantastic uh, we'll share with some more groups let everybody know wonderful wonderful right scotty mcclue and i shall just put again live now share it with all your groups all your contacts and it doesn't matter what your politics are it doesn't matter what your background your religion anything like that you're very very welcome we have no racism on the scotty mcclue show because there is only one race the human race and you and i are all members of the human race and all our wonderful animals and creatures who join us as well so there you go i'll just put live now um live now join us and who am i sending this to one of the big worldwide groups i think should have that excellent stuff so uh, share in a group are you all doing this are you sharing with me very very important guys there's lots of bun stuff you'll see me addressing the haggis for buns night and you'll also see me doing the buns show uh, as well very very important right who am i sharing this with f-a-c-e one of the big facebook groups lovely and that's it so there we are live now join us and i just need to share it and then i'll bring you back round which is wonderful i hope you're not sitting at a funny angle i don't want you getting a click in your neck that's all shared keep sharing guys very very important scotty mcclue with you saying dinky do the new and um, excellent nigel uh, come and join us so james stewart leave our flag alone you haven't told us uh, which flag are you actually talking about are you talking about the saltire or are you talking about something else very very important if you've got a comment to make folks please feel free to do so and um, lots of you here scotty says it how it is tremendous what's uh, in your two best bucket list scotty says henry newton well i'll tell you what i've been doing i don't know about the rest of you but one of the reasons i want to build a television presence and i know i'm no great oil painting i accept that that's not what we're talking about here what we're talking about is giving television a genuine run for its money. There is nothing that I've seen on television that is an interactive program with the audience that can beat the Scotty McClue show live on Facebook Live on Sunday nights at nine o'clock sharp. So what I'm proposing, if we can get a television company that also do telephones, to uh, come and trial the show. Even if we do it half an hour a week on live television, get the audience on there, get the chit chat going. We'll talk about subjects. We'll talk about what you want to do. Any idiots have to go, of course, not a problem. And uh, I think that would make an incredible stride forward. I genuinely believe this is the new television because I don't find anything particularly satisfying on television now. I see comedy as very, very poor. Some halfway comes on and swears, and the audience go, and they think that's funny. I personally don't. So there you are. I get very, very irritated when you're watching a movie and a television announcer comes up at the end, makes the screen go small, and then starts shouting, don't forget, next Tuesday, we also return. And you think, shut up. I was watching a beautiful movie for two hours and then you came up and shouted over the title. I wanted to see who the actors were and you shouted over the title. So that irritates me. So what I've started doing is buying movies, ones that have reduced two pounds, yeah, something like that in the supermarket. Fairly recent movies, two pounds on DVD, and you sit and watch them. Fantastic. Uh, Scotty, for the Tory MSP party. 
So there you are, Tory MSPs, says Rod Hardesty. Now, uh, very interesting, because there is a huge argument that I have with a gentleman uh, about the Tories coming back or not coming back. One of the most famous Scotty McClue Archie Bargies. Uh, I'm watching the darts and listening to you. What about the darts? And um, banning the walk on girls. Do you agree? Says Darren Clover. Well, the whole thing that we've got here about um oh ladies are being victimized all the time by men. I'm sorry, I don't buy into this. Why are we not having men marches? So why are we not getting that? We're getting oh women are rising up and saying their peace. But we've got to be very careful that the men are treated equally as well. Don't put someone in a British boardroom because they are female. Put them in there because they are a person with ability. All right? Very, very important. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, so that's what's happening there, guys. I hope that answers your question, Henry. Uh, do you know there are no purple flags because of its expense, the color purple. I quite often wear purple, very distinguished. So there you are. Oh, Scotty, a bit of further research, right? Uh, proves you're right once again, says Charles McLaughlin. Of course, Charles, McClue is always correct. I do my research. I had a gentleman on one time who was going, look it up, search it on the internet. I said, listen. I was doing three hour live broadcasts, fully unscripted, long before people had the internet. I didn't get the internet till 1998. I'd already been doing six years of live Scotty McClue shows, three hours every night on uh, massive, massive radio stations. And uh, there was no internet, so you had to know your stuff. Uh, Scotty, my son Daniel is very pro-independence of Scotland, as I am my good self, says Douglas McPherson. Glad to have you on our boat. We might have a chance this time, my good man. Well, the big chance was the last time. I will never, ever know why genuine Scottish people said no. I know the frightened the pensioners by saying, you'll lose your pension if you vote uh, for independence. And of course, that was just a dreadful, dreadful whopper. So the trick's not to be listening to uh, people like that. The trick is to say, what is best for Scotland? And what could be better than the Scots deciding that? So there you are. It's as simple as that. It's economic. I'm no political animal. I don't uh, push politics. I'm no great nationalist or anything like that. I am just very pro-Scotland. All right. And uh, Jack Staff, is that not a Doug? Says Rab. <laughs> Very good, Rab. Excellent stuff. Jim Wilson, good evening, Mr. McClure. This is far better on here in Facebook Live rather than the radio, says Jim Wilson. And he says, see more. And I told you I would never actually prod see more, but I might just a wee bit. There we are to see what he's saying there. No, I'd better not. In case we lose the broadcast. Let's have a red flag with a hammer and sickle, Scotty, says Alfred James Wright. Alfred James Wright. Is that not a little bit to the left, the red flag with the hammer and sickle? But I can tell you a true story. When King George V was in a meeting in the 1920s and he turned round to uh, his cabinet, uh, not his cabinet, but yes, it probably would have been all the senior people that were in the room, his, uh, his generals and his admirals, and he said, I don't want another war. I didn't start the last one. If you start another war, I will go down to Trafalgar Square and wave the red flag myself. So there we are. That was our gruff old king, the Queen's grandfather, a terrific character. So there you are. A little bit harsh, a little bit old-fashioned, a little bit hard on his children, but nevertheless, an excellent king. So they are a little bit hard on himself as well, old George V. Um, so when uh, when Edward VIII was a young man, he was very hard on Edward VIII. It was George V that said, he said, um, uh, my father was frightened of his father, and I was frightened of my father, so my children will be frightened of me. 
Why would you want to frighten the children, I say? Have the confidence. And I remember somebody talking about the king, and I think it was George V, and they said, he's a nice little guy, the king. It's just a pity he wasn't better educated. Very important. In those days, the royals didn't have the education that they do now. Tremendous stuff. Uh, James Allison's watching, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, James. And um, there were two Labour MPs in the sauna, and one said to the other, Have you read Marx? And he said, Yes, I think it's these seats. So there we go. Uh, for Scotland, Highland Cathedral would make a good national anthem, says Rod Hardesty. I dare say it would, Rod. Excellent stuff. And. Uh, do we have that? No, I'm not plugged in, or I would play a bit of it for you. Let you hear it. Uh, just keep the caravanners off the road, says Nick Baldy. Guys, it's share time again. Come on. Sharing and sharing and sharing all the time. When Scotty McClue's on, it's very important that every single one of you guys is sharing and sharing and sharing all the time. Yep, very important. I have to say that to you. I'll just share again. You'll be getting fed up. And we're going, what's all this sharing? What's all this live program? And then, of course, a lot of you sharing and sharing and sharing randomly during the week so that we have the big figures. Let's just see how many we can get listening. Last week, we had several thousand and several thousand the week before. The last couple of weeks, we're up to about um, 17,000, 18,000 of an audience, which is tremendous. I was talking to a radio program controller. He said, you know, Scotty, your show on a Sunday night, I know it's a Facebook Live video, he said, but any programmer on a local radio station would be very, very proud to have these audience figures. So there you are, guys. Scotty, a serious question, says Stephen Wearmouth. Since you mentioned rebellious Scots bit in the anthem, Flower of Scotland sings about something similar. Yeah, proud Edward's army will send him homewards to think again. Is that the line you're thinking about? You see, if you think about it, and I'll let you into a musical secret here. Uh, the wonderful Roy Williamson, the late Roy Williamson, composed Flower of Scotland. Yes, he was a, an OG, an old Gordon historian. Went to Gordonston School. And he composed uh, Flower of Scotland. And if you think about it, if you listen to it, O Flower of Scotland, right? O Flower of Scotland. Have you got that in your head? Now, if you look at the chorus of the Hebrew slaves from the opera Nabucco, all right? The chorus of the Hebrew slaves from the opera Nabucco. Speed your journey, da ra 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 and I can guarantee, and I think uh, Roy's not with us, sadly, uh, but I think that's where Flower of Scotland originated from. That's where Roy got the idea. He was one half of a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful folk duo called the Corries. And you can hear the Corries who kept traditional Scottish music alive for a good 50 years. 60 years with all the wonderful songs tremendous and i believe ronnie brown the other half of the corries when i was tiny they were actually the corrie folk trio and the corrie folk trio and paddy bell and then it became um roy williamson and ronnie brown and ronnie is still with us to my knowledge uh scotty serious question since you mentioned it so there we are so that's what we're talking about there stephen wearmouth with Flower of Scotland. Have a look at that. I'm just going to go uh, share. All right, share live now. Yes. And that's going out to everybody right now on the Scotty McClue page. There are several Scotty McClue pages. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. I am the world's top broadcaster. 
and first lot of the internet. I hold the record for telephone calls to a radio station, 460,000 in one week. Dino the Doug's watching. Dinky do, Dino the Doug. It's about time we heard from you. Excellent. Right, I've just shared, and I'll just put there as well, guys. Um, can, it's in capitals, so don't be, I'm not, I'm not shouting. People don't like it. It's very interesting. Can everyone please share now? So I've put that into, um, excellent. Can everyone please share now? And there we are. That's that up there. Just like a proper wizard, says John Dow. Carol McNamara has sent me a smiley face. Uh, Sandy Howden, Scotty the Union Jack, has went from 15 official appearances down to one. It hasn't went, Sandy. It has gone. Now, you're an educated man. You should know how to use your tenses. So it hasn't went. It has gone. So this is Sandy. This is me paraphrasing what Sandy said. Scotty, the Union Jack has gone from 15 official appearances down to one. While the gay flag has went, no, no, has gone from zero to four. So there we are. Interesting. Well, Sandy, I don't really know a great deal about the gay flag. I find it very strange when people meet, they say, hi, how do you do? Uh, you'll probably know, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually gay. Um, and I wonder, how would people feel if you said, you'll probably know, but I'm actually heterosexual. Hi, I'm Scotty McClue. I'm actually heterosexual. Do you mind if I tell you that? Why, why would you tell anyone about your um, social and sexual proclivities like that. Very interesting. Dinner the Doug says, Dinky Doo Scotty. And for your information, the white ensign is for members of the Royal Yacht Squadron. Not necessarily Douglas, right? The Yacht, Royal Yacht Squadron has its own ensign, as does the Royal London Yacht Club. The Royal Yacht Squadron at Cowes. A shout out to everyone watching through the Scottish Independent tonight. Says Harry Marshall Senior Dinky Do to everyone of all political persuasions and none who have joined Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live, the World Stop Broadcast Platform. Dinky Do to every single one of you, I say. Uh, when are we doing a group call, Scotty? Says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Try it now. God Save the Queen is our national anthem. End of says Robert Mackay. Well, what I've always said, and uh, the Scottish Nationalists, some of them get a bit excited when I suggest it, but I say, in an independent Scotland, don't go for a republic, welcome, 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 our monarchy, our majesty the Queen. It is a Scottish institution anyway. The Queen's mother was 100% Scots. She is 50% Scots. Prince Philip, her husband is Danish originally. So there we are. Uh, excellent stuff. God and Elric uh, watching. Excellent stuff. Leon Smith, you cannot say things like that. We shall have to say goodbye to you. So there we are. Somebody being a little bit rude. Um, so we could do um, stuff. God save. David Scott, you'll have to go as well. We can't have this kind of talk on here i'm sorry we need to debate in a civilized and sensible fashion i'll delete that and let you stay the history of iq is very checkered to say the least worth the google search or wikipedia says ian johnson well yes you have mensa which is latin for a table right and mensa is an organization that measures people's intelligence quotient or iq um, I have apparently got one of 164, which is apparently very high. Makes me intelligent, so there you are. Scotty, would you vote to abolish the monarchy for or against? Why? It's a sideshow. The monarchy, we've tried this. They divided poor old Charles I into a head and a body in the 1600s, the mid-1600s, right? And it failed dreadfully. We ended up with Oliver Cromwell and the Commonwealth. And then we had to have the restoration of the monarchy. Okay, so it's all been tried. So don't even go down that road. That is a comparative sideshow to independence for Scotland. Don't get distracted. Thank you, Scotty. I haven't seen you from last century. An absolute pleasure. Both the flags, Scotty. Why change it? 
too much change uh, mentality towards Scots and British. Leave our flag alone, says James Stewart. Very good, James. Excellent stuff. So no, there's no need for any abolition of the monarchy. The monarchy costs us 52 pence a year. It's a fabulous organisation. It brings in, was it, £24 billion in trade agreements. Excuse me a second. I'm just having a quick comfort break because I've got my big fisherman's jumper on tonight. I thought it was rather smart. This is the one I wore in my very first Facebook Live show. So excellent stuff. So there we go. Wore the big fisherman's jumper. It should be an instant ban for three months using a mobile phone when driving. What's your thoughts, Scotty? I think we're far too much on mobile phones. We need to be very careful. You have mobile phones in a pocket here up about a centimetre from your heart, which runs on an electrical pulse. I mean, I'm not uh, a medical man, but is it a tenth of a volt that runs your heart? And you've got a radio transmitter there. When you're on your mobile phone, great stuff. It's lovely to have a mobile phone, instant communication. But when you're on your mobile phone, you've got a centimetre from your brain. You know, a radio transmitter, a centimetre from your brain. Block Liam Smith, says Eddie Doby Sr. I have blocked Liam Smith. Yes, anybody that's extreme or uh, offensive has to be blocked. A shout out to everyone watching through the Scottish Independent, says Harry. Excellent stuff. Monarchy is the sign of a backward society. Worshipping a family. We're not worshipping the family. We're very fortunate to have that unelected head of state who is always there as a constant, as a sense of hope, as a sense of reassurance. Right? So there you are. Bring the monarchy with us to an independent Scotland. Yes, it doesn't make me popular, but this is not a popularity contest, okay? I'm just giving you the facts. Taxi drivers, a bus driver, Scotty, what's your views? Well, I don't know, I saw a lovely bus driver yesterday, a very busy junction, and um, I was coming on and he kind of came out in front of me, and what did I do? I slowed, gave him the lights, and I nodded as well, let him go. I wouldn't expect anything less from Liam Sot, to be honest, says Robert Mackay. Liam is gone, Robert. It's past, passe. So much, uh, that's so much last minute chat there. Uh, quite right. TV's gone stale, says Ian Johnson. That's why I want Scotty McClure to introduce new television. I mean, I wish I was 40 years younger with all this wonderful technology, uh, but I'm not. I'm the age I am. And I can remember when I started in television and ITV reading the news, and the boss came down, and he was chatting to me, and then he said, here, I've got to go, Scotty, you're on in 30 seconds, and I did my tie up and patted my head, I said, do I look okay? And he went, well, that's what you look like, and I thought, how cruel was my first thought, and then I thought, do you know, he's right, that's what I look like, what was I going to do, swap my head, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. You're a dunderhead, says Ben Williams. I do not think I am Ben Williams. What I shall do is I shall delete your comment, but I'll leave you just now. If you're rude again, you go. Alan Brown is watching. Think you do the wonderful Alan Brown in Washington, D.C. Lovely to have you with us, Alan, and dinky do. Guys, I'll also upload the program to YouTube so you can get a swatch at it in the Scotty McClue YouTube channel because time is tight. People can join you split screen, Scotty, on here like a collar. Says Kevin John Fowler. How fabulous. Can everybody share? Share, share, share right now, guys. Share with all your groups, big groups and all that. Neon Smith is swearing, says Eddie Doby Sr. Neon Smith. Well, he will be. He'll be annoyed, but he's gone. So there we are. He'll never be back. Uh, Rab Bruce, dinky do come and join us. And uh, love from America. So people are watching in Canada, America, and Australia, and New Zealand, and Madagascar, and all that sort of stuff. Scotty McClure is the new TV. Would you not love to have a half-hour live program with Scotty McClure on, say, a Friday night or a Saturday night, and we phone in to the TV, and we chat just like this? I think it'd be amazing. Scotty! Uh, says Rab Hill. Thanks, Rab. Very good. I'm not going to come out with that one. I can assure you. So there we are. Liam Smith says, ha ha, Eddie, grow up. So there you are. 
<coughs> pardon me, do excuse me, guys. Very, very important. What a fabulous program it's been tonight. It has just passed in a flash. Absolutely shot past. So there you are. And we're just coming up to uh, 10 o'clock. But keep, sh keep sharing and sharing and sharing. We need you back on the radio, says Steve Burrows. Well, there's a lot of talk. I know I always say this, but I'm talking to very, very senior people on the radio right now who have got big radio stations who are very interested in doing something, right? And we had the dafties that went, oh, yes, Scotty, yes, Scotty, we, 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 we remember Scotty, all that stuff. What's he doing now? You say, He's live on Facebook Live, building a massive, massive following and a very, very big audience live on Facebook Live. Keep sharing, guys. Hello to everyone watching the Scottish Independent tonight. I hope you're all doing well, says Harry. Mr. McClure, try Amazon Prime. So there you are, much better than DVD, says Douglas McPherson. An excellent advert for Amazon Prime there. Uh, and uh, so we could well be going back on the radio, but when you see the audiences that McClure's getting, even on Facebook Live, you think, wow, any radio programmer would give their eye teeth for audience numbers like that. So there we are. Carl, Carlos Donnelly, Dinky Doo, Stuart McKenna, lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo to you, of course, from me, Scotty McClue. We're live here, 9 o'clock sharp, every Sunday evening. Never, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of life. And we don't want that. That's a moment of life. You will never, ever get back again. Can we have more sharing, please? Share, 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 share. Excellent stuff. If you want to pop a couple of quid into GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, please do. You'll get them all on Scotty McClue's website at www.scotty hyphen McClue.com. Also take the URL from here, www.facebook.com forward slash scotty.mcclue.9. Send that round. When is the group call happening, Scotty? Carl, Carlos, Donnelly, we can do it any time. People could come on Messenger right now. If somebody wants to try it just before I go, feel free to do that. Gordon Cruden says, think I'll have toast and farsh. So there we are. Lovely wee bit of smoked mackerel patty. Oh, so there we go. And uh, Sandy Howden says, Scotty, in three years, we'll have the smallest growth, 46 out of 46 countries. We've got poor, poor growth at the moment, Sandy. Very poor growth. If you can imagine an independent Scotland, the growth would be through the roof because we're starting at a very, very low base. You know, and I'm hearing that they're having to look at the funding for the, uh, the Smith Museum in Stirling. Yes, the council budget's getting cut back. Uh, you know, they've to save, is it 200 million or something like that? That should be increased, right? And the rap look as well, the big noise and the rap look and still like wonderful, wonderful stuff. Music, music for the children, music for the community. That should be increasing all the time. Scotland should be getting massive, massive investment. Thatcher stripped it out. She asset stripped Scotland. Where are the shipyards? Where are the sugar refineries? Where are all the factories? Where are the vehicle manufacturers? All that should be in Scotland. What have we replaced the mines with? Kilsyth Colliery, Long Annet, right? All these collieries. What have we replaced them with? I don't watch normal TV. I've got one of these fire sticks for my films, says Angie Thompson. I shall look at that. The wonderful Paul Robinson is watching, an absolute gem of a man, a fantastic manager, and a wonderful, wonderful broadcaster. Paul Robinson, suggest to all your friends the Scotty McClue TV program, half an hour a week, taking calls. Uh, if Mary, James, Peter, Richard, David and John are all in separate vehicles, travelling at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour in a forward direction with no obstacles, at which point... Is Mary likely to stamp? Oh, I can't see the rest of it, Gordon Riley. I can't see the rest of it. I can tell you that the rate of acceleration is 10 meters per second per second. I don't know if that's helpful to you. Stephen Weymouth, uh, we should just hang a set of old dear's bloomers 
off the flagpole, Scotty, and be done with it. No, 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 no. Modernise the Union flag and have it up there as well. Ian Pugh, dinky do to you. Fantastic stuff. Who else have we got? A shout out to everyone watching Scottish Independent. TV licensing, Scotty, what's your views? I don't believe in it. Just file the brown letters when they arrive. Well, no. I mean, there's some excellent programming on things like the Public Service Broadcaster, the BBC, and what have you. I would like to see Scotland have the Scottish Broadcasting Corporation. Is this really live? Says Thomas Dunn. I think you've just answered your own question, Tam. Don't you? And uh, Gordon Riley says no. I don't know what he's saying no to, but no means no. And uh, what else have we got? Fantastic stuff. I'm just having to bring this up before we dash, folks. Very, very important. Um, I don't... What's Eddie saying? Hang on. See if I'm doing, there we go. Uh, Scots Wahe should be our national anthem. Scots Wahe where Wallace bled. Scots where Bruce has often led. Welcome to your gory bed or to victory. Now's the day and now's the hour. So there you go. Um, can you not just read my joke, says Gordon Riley? No, I can't. It's too big a joke. Zzzz, says Dino the Dog. Dino the Dog has gone to sleep. So there you go. Do you have a lovely sleep, Dino the Dog? It's time for us all to go. We're out of time. What a fantastic program. Lovely talking to you folks. Take great care of your dear selves. Share and share this program. Pop something into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty Ivan McClue or paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E. -E. Spend the week sharing the program. It will come at you randomly. Please, 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 I beg of you, and as you know, McClue does not beg easily, keep sharing. It's very important because this program is valuable to every single one of us not just to do with me, to do with you. This is the World's Top Talk Show. We're live on Facebook Live. This is Scotty McClue going to sing you the goodbye song. <clears throat> I have got the box out, says Douglas Lawrence. Excellent, Douglas, yes. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we to zin, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, everyone, and dinky-doo, Scotty McClue has left the building. Oh, yes.